Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for contributing. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful community. Um, I, I think you could just like applaud yourself and all the speakers and the panelists and uh, you know stage coordinators, note takers, um, the entire staff at, at NFA, particularly uh, Adela Kudla. Thank you so much uh, for accommodating us. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, um, hopefully I won't forget anybody. So thank you, Peter, thank you, Randy, thank you, Margot, thank you, Yannicka, thank you, Ida, thank you, Anna, thank you, Jakub, uh, thank you, Liz, Samaya, Kevin, Joanna, Yvonne, uh, Kaylin, Brianna, Erin, and uh, Juja, and thank you, Gina, who's been doing the designs for our, uh, for the program since the, since the very beginning, this, or like yeah. since the second one. So thank you so much, Gina, for always coming out with a new design and yeah, dedicating your time to us and um, the community, really. Um, thank you to our sponsors. Again, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you, Memoriaf, BFI, CNA, DPC, FIAF, Reto. Memoria. I said Memoriaf. Me, and uh, yeah, I think this, FIAF, I said FIAF, thank you. Yeah, okay, so yeah, thank you. And um, <laughs> uh, yeah, again, um, and I'll, you know, Dave, some oh, last uh, words? Yeah, so normally um, for the last couple of conferences, we had this part called Last Words where uh, we sort of open up to the audience. But I mean, really, we would want to hear some sort of reflection or comment. It's sort of the one part of the conference where we welcome comments rather than questions. Um, but we'd love to hear any of your reflections of this event. Um, I don't know, it's, I think it's like always a big story for us, like meeting regularly throughout the year, trying to figure out how to, how to fundraise, how to structure this. Um, I think now that we've, this is our seventh, um, it ends up, some of it is a bit easier because it's a lot of copying and pasting instructions to the stage coordinators and to the remote participation uh, staff. Um, you know, so we have a bit of a, a, a structure, um, but there's certainly a, a, a lot more to build, and I don't know, we have a lot of work to put on another year, and we've been very grateful for all the encouragement and communication that you guys have shared with us. Um, but yeah, I'd be happy to take any last comments from our beautiful audience here, if anyone does. <clears throat> Into the microphone, Radoslav. <laughs> <like. laughs> uh, please publish all the presentation as PPT Higgs, because video is okay, but uh, it can be published in the um, uh, very famous site, uh, how is name it? Uh, Presentation share or so something like that. Uh, it's a yeah, uh, slide share. Yeah, <clears throat> in the slide share. So please, this is also good addition to the YouTube. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, um, I am late for the no time to uh, to wait six presentations, but I will do also for them <laughs> and for the <laughs> yeah one year one year late. For a year. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but it is on the media area website uh, slash uh, no time to wait seven. So it will. It, it is not yet, but it will be in a couple of uh, days, days, weeks, maybe. <laughs> also, we'll send out an email soon, just asking for feedback and sharing final information. But I mean, we had a, a Google Drive for all the speakers to upload. So the resources we've been sharing on screen, we do have them in a, a Google Drive that we could potentially share. Um, if you go to the media area YouTube page, you'll see the all of the streams that we did um, that were sort of in pieces, separated by breaks, but every, everything that was happening in the room that we were streaming is on, on YouTube. Sorry. I think it was when Alessandra was speaking this morning that you mentioned um, losing some sponsors for no time to wait. Um, so I was wondering if the organizing committee could send out some reminders leading up to the next no time to wait about sponsorship. Um, I know I'm going to go back and, and speak to my colleagues to see what might be possible, and I'm sure there's other people in the room here who are, are um, looking to do the same, just so we ensure that we keep this amazing conference and network going. Um, so yeah, if you could just kind of remind us and um, how we can help the organizing committee make No Time to Wait um, sustainable and, and keep happening. Yeah, sure. Um, this is a, a change you may have seen for this year. We had an optional registration this year. So... Um, uh, which meant that you don't have to pay your registration fee, but you can. So um, we had some conversations, uh, and we may be moving forward with that as a every year situation. It's going to be on a sliding scale. It won't be very much, and it and, and it will always be optional. 
Um, so I, I, I really, um, I'm, I'm, I'm so tired that I, I, I cried a little bit when Sarah said like, oh, pay your optional registration fees because I don't want to put you or her on the spot, but she paid her registration fees and she's online. Um, so uh, that was kind of Im Im impressive. It just shows like, okay, we believe in you and we want to keep this going. Um, so you will see this uh, this change probably implemented for the long for, for the long run. We weren't sure, to be honest, if we wanted to do an optional registration because we proud ourselves about providing um, this conference for free and, and easy access, but we have to remind ourselves culture is not free, even though it may be free in terms of, you know, getting free cinema tickets or accessing sites and and and, and web pages and, and cultural heritage, et cetera, et cetera. But culture isn't free and we have to also kind of stop that narrative. So we have to also value our work and your work and there is a price tag attached to it, whether we see it or not. So um, we'll move forward with an optional registration fee, as I said, on the sliding scales and really optional and very low. Um, I would often think so much about um, the presence of, of gatekeepers in communities um, when trying to learn and trying to build community. But so I was, you know, also really motivated to have a free registration just to make sure that it's not going to be four hundred dollars or three hundred dollars to be here. Um, but I don't know. I was reflecting on this um, during the walk to dinner last night while in a conversation. Um, you know, that if we offered something that's like a sliding scale that includes free, but includes other positive numbers, um, that we could potentially support more travel grants and support more of the community to be here. This year we um, were able to have, you know, nearly half of our budget went towards travel grants, which I think we feel terrific about and I'm so happy for the other sort of voices and people who can participate. Um, so. I know it's been interesting to me to reflect on potentially having a fee to pay could help, you know, further reduce gatekeeping by helping us support others in, in getting here. Because a lot of us, our employers are paying for us, but a lot of us are just paying for ourselves or needing assistance. Um, yeah. Um, thank you again for yet another year. I've been very fortunate enough to be able to attend like many times now. And so my question was, um, I'm just curious, if you had done any sort of analysis as to like, the trajectory over the years, like in terms of like, you know, how many people are attending, how many different countries or institutions are represented, how many people are, are participating online versus in person. I'm just really curious if you have a sense of that. Um, we have all the data, but we don't do statistics with that. Um, I would say it gen more generally it is half US, half Europe. So it is good that uh, half of the attendees here, it not, well, not really half, but not far come from the US, thank you. It is a long travel. And one Mexican. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and last year, uh, there was uh, also some uh, representant from the Latin America, so um, uh, there was uh, also uh, this year uh, one or two people from Africa, so, so it is more international now, but it is the first time. Um, the countries, um, yeah, not a lot of France, it is curious, but a um, <laughs> lot of Germany. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> There's one. There is a lot of French people, but not from uh, the French institutions. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and uh, the number, yeah, we. we are uh, usually between uh, 70 people and 130 uh, maximum. Uh, after COVID, it was a bit low, so the time to restart and everything. Uh, but usually, usually it is 100, 130. Uh, just to add, add, add on to that, um, we've noticed, I mean, I've noticed new faces, so we're very happy about that, that we're not just like self-aggrandizing ourselves like, yay. <laughs> Uh, but there's new faces here, young, a lot of young people, a lot of students, those, lots of postdocs, so that's really awesome, I, I believe. And also what I've noticed being on, on, on the organizing committee, there is definitely a need to kind of professionalize a little bit. Because um, it is getting bigger, like I can feel it. It's, um, yeah, so there is this like trajectory. We're going somewhere and we need to be very mindful because otherwise we may either, either always burn ourselves out or just not um, create, you know, or just not deliver what we want to deliver. So there is some, some reflection definitely to be done in that area. Thanks, Yvonne. Anyone? Um, just to add, um, curiously, we, we have more and more students who, who come. 
So it is not only professionals, it is students uh, also. So we, we have very different kind of people, yes. I want to hear from Valeria. Will you yeah. say something about your experience with us? <laughs> yes, hello. Um, I've been, I think, in four years now, part of the committee, but it's my first time being here in person um, as an attendee, as an, as an organizer as well. And it's been a lovely experience. I noticed, I've been noticing, like, from the online um, participation, how this is a community, and it, it has this feeling. Like, I, I'm now here, and I, and I can feel that and I'm getting emotional as well. But yeah, it's very welcoming and sharing all the knowledge and it's been so beautiful. And yeah, I want to invite ev everyone who wants to come, in including people in the remote uh, uh, assistance. Uh, if you want to come, feel free. Uh, it's, it's beautiful and it's, it's been so lovely being here. And yeah, thank you for all of you for being here and making a great conference. Uh, so for me, it's like this has been a terrific experience working with these people and being able to host you in the Na Narodny Filmový Archiv. Uh, and what I'm especially thankful about, uh, so this is my third No Time to Wait uh, in attendance. And I always find it uh, very inspirational and also for um, the multitude of um, information and standards and everything, it is very helpful to hear it with your own ears, to see the people that are behind. So uh, thank you for that. And that's actually kind of everyone's job here to share, I guess. This is my topic, I like it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thank you to the community and thank you to the committee. It's been a pleasure to be part of use for one year. <laughs>